All right, guys, it's July 18th, and the Bucks are back. All right, guys, it is time for us to get our video trail cameras out. Uh, big day for us. Haven't done it yet this year. Their cell cams are out, and they kind of gave me an idea of where some of the bucks are and where some things need to be. But we got our lineup ready to go. I got the old Recon Force Advantages. Uh, I did a review on all the old Browning cameras that we ran, so definitely check that out. Um, I'll have a link in the description for that camera review. Uh, we have some of the new Recon Force Edges. We ran them last year. They didn't do too bad of a job. They're included in the old review. We have some new Strike Force models. Uh, not sure exactly which one it is. It's in the review, but I'm going to run one on video, run one on camera mode because I want to see uh, how well they do in low light on mineral licks. Because I think I'm going to run these in West Virginia on bear bo with bear boxes for our mineral licks in West Virginia because I'm sick of having unreliable cameras down there. And then Ethan bought a whole bunch of bogs. So we're going to run these bogs, two on video, one on picture, see what we got. Sure. Year two, Chad. We're on it. Year two. Original OG mineral look. Hopefully Buck Nasty's around. It's going to be a muddy one. The deer going to tear up. Which I like. We're done. Getting after it. Getting after it. We have two licks at the farm this year. Last year we had one, and it worked out pretty good. This year we have two. How far apart you think? 300, 350, 400 yards? Yeah, 400 yards. 400 yards. Uh, it's a different section of woods, and oddly enough, it had a different set of deer in it last year. So we're good to go. We'll be back in a month to set up some bean field cams. That's that. Well, we might as well just give the bog a hard assignment right off the rip. First one we've ever put out. And it's on an open bean field facing due east. Right into the morning sun. And I know it'll uh, have some false triggers because of that. And it really won't be its fault. But there's a trail, a couple trails coming out here. Uh, we hunted here last season late in the year. Ethan shot a doe here. And we got beans in this field. So it's going to be a good place to monitor. So we'll come back in a couple weeks. Give that a look. All right, I'm here, man-made trail. 
through one of my bedding areas. Uh, I created this two years ago, actually, I think. And one of the new strike forces they were reviewing on video mode here in this dark, uh, high canopy area. So we'll come back in a couple weeks and check that, add it to the review. Probably get a lot of fawns, foxes, maybe the occasional buck. There was some really good bucks that moved through here in the past. I can pull up some of those pictures, but um, usually later summer during the rut. It's a good rut spot, so we'll check it here in a couple weeks. I'm in one of my favorite spots in the whole world. My sea field food plot project. Isaac's mowing. We got a good base of clover underneath all that uh, grass. It was rye and wheat. A little bit of weeds in there, but life's pretty good. Set up trail cameras today. Uh, I might have already even shown the intro to that, but Getting all the video cams out, all the cell cams removed and put in some new spots. The cell cams have been out for about a month. They've actually been out all year, but they've been out for deer for about a month. Got a couple velvet bucks I'm excited about. Got some video and some pictures of some decent up and coming deer that we really want to keep an eye on this summer. So video cams are going out. Um, we're testing out a whole bunch of new cameras that we bought. Gonna do some reviews for the channel. Isaac's got a sweet haircut. That dude used to run half marathons, but he doesn't quite look like it now. But pretty excited for today. Pretty excited for this summer. Things are finally starting to look up. You guys want to see something weird that I've had to deal with this summer? It's kind of out of the ordinary. Can't kill a turkey. Goddamn peacock lives on my front porch. All right guys, we're in here working on minerals today. Uh, it's mid-July, just got back from the OBX. Uh, bucks are starting to show up. And a lot of people have been talking about this new product. And I didn't even hear about it until a couple weeks ago, but we're putting it out. We're trying it. We're gonna test it. We're gonna test it. This looks had some action this year already, so we just gotta get some new batteries in the cell cams and give it a couple weeks. There's a second crop of beans that just got put in. So there'll be plenty of food here till late season. Uh, we're, uh, we're going pretty hard with the deer hunting stuff now. Everything else for the summer's over, so it's nothing but deer hunting content from here till February.
over the last couple uh, days, we've been putting out minerals at all of our farms and getting ready for the, the summer velvet rut. Uh, the bucks are really showing what they are now and it's time for some road scouting and kind of start to work on our fall food plots a little bit and trail camera placement and bean fields and just kind of dialing in the deer from last year. We've already got a couple identified. Uh, there's a couple we're not allowed to show. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun summer. We've had a great stretch of three or four days of getting uh, target bucks and mature bucks and uh, deer that we wanted to see on trail camera. So we're pretty excited. Hope you enjoyed today's mini sode. Uh, we got a lot of studio work to do today, and keep an eye out for that podcast. It's gonna be coming soon.